Hey everybody, it's Ron from RJT Travels, and today we're going to be doing a basic overview of the Frontier Airlines Go Wild Pass. We're going to go over some basic information, tips and tricks, things that I've learned since I started doing this, and make sure you have all the information so if it's something you want to sign up for, you know exactly what you're getting into. So let's go check it out. <music> So, Frontier Go Wild Pass, very simple. You sign up for the Go Wild Pass, you pay a flat fee to have the pass for whatever time frame it is, and then you get to fly as much as you want around on Frontier Airlines. Great. What you do need to know, though, is you still pay the taxes on the flight. So, a one-way flight is $15 with the taxes. A one-way connecting flight is $25 with the taxes. So even though you're not paying for your plane ticket, you are still paying the taxes on your flight. So it's not a free unlimited all you can fly, but it is only $15 a flight, so rather low cost. The other thing to know with the Go Wild Pass is that it is treated like a regular ticket everywhere else in the system. You still pay for your baggage, you still pay for your seat selection, anything that you want to add onto your flight, you are still paying the fee for above and beyond. The Go Wild Pass is just covering the base price of your ticket. So looking at a flight selection here, we plug in some basic information. You see there's the three boxes, the standard price, the discount den price, and the Go Wild price. And you can see how significantly less cost that is. Select the Go Wild ticket, then it's going to confirm your personal information, which obviously I bleeped out here so nobody can see my personal info on the flight. Then it's going to treat it like a normal flight. It's going to ask you to do the combination stuff and see if you want any of the bundle packages. Um, for me, I have the elite status, so I get the free seat selection. So as you see here, there's no fee on the seat selection, and I also have a free carry-on. But if you don't, it is going to show you the cost for the seat selection there, just like it normally would. And then it's going to ask you for your baggage, and as you see where the costs are associated there. So I'll add on a carry-on bag. I'll add on my seat selection like I normally do. And then it's going to pull up to complete your trip, ask you for the, the rental car and all that information. And then it just takes you to the checkout screen like on a normal flight would. So it's going to show you the cost of your flight, any of your add-ons, and just give you a grand total, which you see in this case is the $14.91 for the base fare, since the add-ons that I have are part of my elite status and I don't pay the fee for it. So, Go Wild Pass gets you a cheap base level ticket, but you still pay for everything else. If you're doing seat selection, seat selection runs between $15 and $40 for your seat on each flight that you go to. If you're paying for baggage, suitcases are $55 one way, a carry-on $60 one way. So, it can add up to be still costly if you are going to be using this often. Um, really, the best thing I've learned with Frontier Pass is I also got the Elite 20K status, so I get free seat selection and a free carry-on on every flight. So that way I really am having cheap, easy flights to do. But if you don't have that Elite 20K status, you are going to end up paying a little bit more for stuff. I definitely recommend if you're going to go all in on the Wild Pass, um, the Frontier credit card is a great thing to have because you can earn miles very quickly and get to that 20K status that much faster. The other thing is to check out our other video on the top there, uh, but we do also tell you you can buy Frontier's Elite 20K status. Um, it's a flat fee for the year, and they automatically bump your account up to the 20K status. So if you are going all in, those two tools could be very, very helpful for you. I went ahead and did that. It was $500 to buy the 20K status, but for me, you figure $60 one way for a carry-on, so a round trip, you're $120 with a carry-on. And if you're sitting in the front of the plane because you get free seat selection, that's the $40 seat selection. So that's another $80 round trip. So you're spending almost $200 round trip on different add-ons that you get free with that Elite 20K status. So by doing three round trip flights, you've pretty much paid off your buy-in on the 20K status. And with the Frontier Go Wild Pass making your tickets $15, you really could do a round trip ticket for $30 and take a carry-on with you and be able to uh, have your seat in the front of the plane in aisle or middle or window, whatever you like. So definitely long-term, great things to do. You can always do the Go Wild Pass without it, but it still will be decently expensive if you don't have the other perks to go along with it. The other thing with Go Wild Pass that you need to know is there is a few informational things. First off, the Go Wild Pass, in order to book this cheap, one-way, quick flight, you only can do it 24 hours ahead of your flight. 
So you don't get to schedule a vacation in six months and use the Go Wild discount to get the flight. You have to wait till 24 hours before that flight in order to book it on the Go Wild Pass discount. If you're doing an international flight, they do give you a little bit more leeway. You get 10 days ahead of that flight to book with the Go Wild discount. So if you are planning on something international, you get 10 days, but something domestic, you have to wait till 24 hours ahead of time. The other thing is there are blackout dates on the Go Wild Pass. So if you're planning on doing this because you know you're traveling for Thanksgiving or traveling for Christmas, you would be blacked out on certain dates as well. So go through your Go Wild Pass. As you see here, it lists all the different blackout dates that are in 2023 and 2024 um, up to this point for the blackout dates. So just be mindful of those as well. If you do travel for the holidays and stuff, your Go Wild Pass isn't going to be useful. Overall, the Go Wild Pass can be very, very fun. It can be very useful for avid travelers or somebody who wants to start traveling more. It's an easy, affordable way to do it. But if you're going to do it, I definitely recommend the other tools as well. Don't just buy the Go Wild Pass. Unless you're somebody who's good with just traveling with a personal item, not needing any baggage, don't care where you sit, then yeah, Wild Pass is going to work for you as well. Um, but just be prepared for that, that you're not going to be able to pick your seats unless you're going to pay. You don't bring any baggage, so you just get that personal item if you're not going to pay unless you go do the other things like get the go out the frontier credit card which will help you get to that front care status quicker and you can also just go buy the status as well and like I said check out our other video where we break down and explain how to go buy that status and, and what's involved with that so definitely check that one out as well but I use the Go Wild Pass. I've done about a dozen flights on it over the last six months. I love the pass. It's been great for me to do day trips and one night trips to travel a little bit more, research different hotels and areas, and just be able to get away for a weekend and have some fun. So it's definitely worth it. It's definitely a lot of fun. Um, but just know 24 hours ahead of time for any flight. And you have to book one way too. So if you are planning a weekend trip, that's 24 hours ahead of the down flight and then 24 hours ahead of the return flight. So do keep that in mind too that you can't book both at the same time. You'll have to wait till you get to your destination, depending on how long you're staying. If you're doing a day trip back and forth in the same day, then you could book both at the same time. But if they are 24 hours in advance of each other, you'd have to wait till that 24-hour marker. But great way to kind of get around, do some travel, explore some things. Very cheap, I might add. And just to plug too, Frontier is running a Black Friday special. But when we post this video here, they are doing a special where it's $499 for their annual Go Wild Pass, which is from May 1st to April 2024 to April 30th of 2025. So if this is something you want to check out or you think somebody in your family might like it for Christmas, you can always buy them the Go Wild Pass. It is on sale right now for $499. So check it out. If you have any questions, leave a comment here below. We'll try to answer as many as we can. As always, if you need help, RJT Travels, fully certified travel agency, would be happy to help you. Just go to rjttravels.com. Or you can always check us out on any of our social media channels here. Send us a message. We'll be happy to help. I hope this helped. I hope this answered questions. Leave a bunch of comments. We'll definitely get you any more questions answered. And you know, good luck and happy travels.